Oh, he's going in reverse. <laughs> All right, good morning, guys. So another wonderful day. We're gonna go ahead, get started. Did not get to finish the X7. Um, just decided to call Sunday family day and decided to hang out with the kiddos. And we have a bike. We're modifying some fairings and building this bike in preparation for non-sitting. So we're gonna go ahead and this thing up in a good way. Got my little area cleaned up. Trash box, trash box. So trash box goes there for right now. Trash goes in, trash box. So I just moved this. I know it's easy to just leave everything, which is what I wanted to do, but you gotta move this stuff. I'm gonna run over that cord and then try and pull it right when the tires over the cord. Like, how do things happen like that? All right, cool. So bike's here and Astrid's here. I'll oh, lay yeah, this no, up. We gotta lay it. Let me, let me, yeah, we gotta lay it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna put that one back up on the stand over here. Uh, put this in place. Yeah, we'll lay this up first. Once this is laid up, we'll go ahead and put it the uh, mold together. So then that's curing, doing its thing. Once that's curing and that's done, we'll go ahead and move our focus on the bike. So this is our homemade glass filler. Shh, secret. That's the secret sauce. It is the secret sauce. I forgot to take the rollers out of the acetone, so they gummed up, and we don't want that. The whole point of a roller is for it to roll all the air out. So I'm cleaning it out. We usually um, have a bucket where we just keep acetone in it, and we dip our rollers in it, our brushes in it, um, try to get as much life out of our brushes as possible. Usually we leave them in here, clean them, put them back together and take them out so that they don't stay in the acetone um, because there'll be old resin from the brushes and the rollers in here that'll stay. Um, it's like jello, it goes like jello on the bottom and it'll build up inside the roller and you don't want that. So don't do what I did. Take your rollers out and yeah, keep them, keep them living as long as you can. So she forgot to mention this bucket's name is Homer. It came from Home Depot. Oh my gosh, because that's super important. It's the mini Homer. This bottle, tighten it, and then you squeeze it to however many cc of catalyst you want. So we get asked a lot, how do I know um, how much catalyst to put into when I'm fiberglassing? Um, I don't know how to explain it. It took me a long time to figure it out. Um, weather, humidity, I mean, a lot of factors come into play and honestly, just get your hands dirty because that's how I did it, so. It's not very hot, but it's super easy. So I'm gonna make it hot so that it won't take too long to cure. Just mix it all in. And use what you have, guys. For smaller things, we like to just cut up water bottles. So I'm gonna finish wetting it out here. I'm just gonna disassemble my roller so that I can clean it. Oh, 
Oh, she's gonna hit it with that thing. Is that the pipe cleaner? You gonna clean it the pipe? Yep. Brush is in here too. Where the freak did it go? Oh, there it is. Oh. Disclaimer, chill. <laughs> <laughs> like you wanna see through, make sure there's no gummy stuff in there. If there is, boom. Yep. <laughs> How old are we? <laughs> Now both of those are laid up and it's time for the bike. Take off the seat. Um, we're gonna work on the rear. So he picked up some fairings. These aren't meant for the bike itself. These fairings were gonna fit. It's all about style, baby. This one's for a Zephyr Kawasaki. So now we're just gonna trim it up. When you trim, um, you wanna look for when it's not fully cured, but it's not gummy. I don't know how to explain it. Like it's starting to cure. Stiff. Yeah, it's stiff. And you don't want to go this way because then you'll risk it lifting off of your mold or your piece. So you want to go this way. Did I cut it? So it's trimmed now and now we can bond it. Same filler we use to lay up, we use to bond. So I'm just gonna put it along our seam line where they will meet. Squishes it up in there. Oh, turn around. And what's up, Boo? Good morning. <laughs> oh, good morning. I'll be with you here. What's up, brother? Because I was saying you splooge it and get it in there. For contraption. We'll show you in just a second. Okay. Well, no contraption, it was just a paint stick. <laughs> Fooled you. Tricked you guys. <laughs> and say that about anyone. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. <I'm> <laughs> oh god. <laughs> What's up, dude? That's hot. Huh? I'm going to Target. Oh, that's hot. <laughs> <laughs> Full power. So, I'm gonna grind right here, take that lip out, have the fan in place, gonna blow all the grinding dust as I edge it. So, the way we like to grind this out. So I like to use the DA with a grinding disc or grinding wheel. Oh, okay. Oh, he's grinding. <laughs> use a 36 grit disc. Then I'll just go ahead and hit that. I realized I did that, but I didn't. I don't know if I had tightened it yet. That's tight. We're good. We have a ground total of three, three, four, nine. <laughs> the little man is counting. Oh, yeah, it's, 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 Fifty dollars. <laughs> oh, my fingers to count. You guys can't ever find anything. Man's disease. He's got the key. I got the key. Wrong way. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I moved the, the noses yeah, over there. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. He's back. Where are the bulls? I'm going to get better bulls. <laughs> get better ones. I'll be back. All right, be we'll safe. More, more bulls, better quality, and more quantity. Be safe. All the hardware's taken off. We're just going to release it. There's a little bit of a lip there when she trimmed it. 
you want to keep that lip there so you can just kind of pop it off there. Show you. So that. So there's a little lip there, but what's good is you just push back on that lip. Okay, maybe with a wedge and a hammer, but that'll release that and then we just pull it apart. Are here. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. Thank you. Buggy is delivered. I'm coming right back. Thank you. No Red Bulls to save the day. Where's my boy Max? Is he on the. Oh, he's not on it. Oh. Your boy Max. Max for something. Misread the thing. I was about to fucking walk up with three twenty ounces mm. and pay fucking fifteen bucks. I was like, <laughs> fifteen dollars. <laughs> Big old. Something like that, better. Okay. Like, well, I'll dry it in, <laughs> <laughs> so it's not. I'll tape it all. <laughs> I'm worried that if I take this out, mm -hmm. it's going to change this because I just like traced it like that along the seat. Oops, sorry. Is the other side sitting okay? Something like that. So right there. And then right there. Okay. We can't really finalize what this shape and the fitment of this is going to look like until we have the rocket cowl on. So we went ahead and pulled the part. Astrid d it. So kind of prepped it already. <laughs> We put the uh, plate on the top, had to ask Billy, that's Bippy on IG. Dude is super helpful and knows a lot about these bikes, Kyushikai stuff. So this is even his uh, part that he allowed us to mold and yeah, so now we have rocket cowls. You know, so all to help the community grow here. The rocket cowl to fit, the J-shaped bar goes up, gets hard mounted to the frame itself with U-bolts. Um, and then this piece itself is adjustable. So, you know, the bigger it is, you know, the better he is. Well, whatever. So that's adjusting. The plate itself from that will sit on top of here. That gets mounted to that. There's a windscreen that'll go over that as well. Um, so yeah, should be cool. Once we get the rocket cowl on, we'll be able to look at the rear, be able to look at how everything looks together. And ideally that'll tell us how that will end up. We'll continue tomorrow. Um, really happy with the shape that Astrid came up with here on the side, especially with this thick seat, the chunky seat. That's a huge bit. When we had the Honda showing, it was actually too low. I mean, I think we knew that, but try to make it work. So we had to raise the rear tail up to compensate. So now everything seems to look good proportionally.